Saint, my final question for you is what three specific tips you can give to job seekers in order to elevate their job search besides what we talked about in the previous videos? Okay, so first things first is try not to cut and paste your CV. Now, the difficulty there is um, if you're applying for roles online, a lot of companies will use an ATS system, an applicant tracking system. And therefore, they will kind of pull through all the buzzwords that, that hiring manager is looking for. So there's a difficulty in terms of um, keeping your, your CV open and talking about key achievements versus making sure it's good for an ATS system. So I'd always have two CVs um, ready to go. But the, key, the second tip is really making sure that if you're applying for jobs, certainly on LinkedIn, maybe just take the time to... If, for example, I know Mahir is hiring for his firm, of course I'll apply, but I'll also go into Mahir's uh, profile, look at any, any post that he's put out, and again, engage with him via a like, a comment, or a share. Yeah. So subconsciously, what Mahir sees is me, not only applying for a role, but he also sees I'm engaging with him and also engaging with the business. So again, have a target list of companies that you want to approach and make sure that you're doing a little bit more than just sending your profile over to them. Um, also, tip number two is making sure as much as you can, put a profile together, put a, a small covering letter together, and don't, tell, don't talk about your overall experience, talk about what you can do for them as a business. So again, a little bit of more work um, around, you know, I understand that this is the dynamics of the business, you're an innovative tech firm, this is what I've done in the past, and by, by tailoring it very slightly, the most of the body is going to be the same, but tailoring it very slightly, it will make a slight difference to the hiring manager reading that rather than my name saying, I've got this amount of experience, me, 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 me. No, no, what I can do for you as a client that I want to, why I want to work with. Um, and third and final tip as a job seeker, because of the, the current climate we're in now is as much as you can, please try to smile through the adversity. You know, the, the resilience that a lot of people are trying to build up is great, but we also know that there's a lot of, there's a downward spiral as well, especially when we're applying to, in some senses, hundreds of applications a week and getting nothing in return. So there's an element of, yes, we need to find work, but also an element of making sure that you're not just sending your CV to anything out there because, when we don't get, as humans, when we don't get a response, like a zero response, it's gonna bring us down. You know, we need a little bit of certainty in our lives. Mm. And when we're, when we're just spraying our profiles and getting nothing in return, that's not gonna help us long-term. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna say that suddenly, if you only send out 15 well-crafted covering letters, you're gonna get, uh, get, a, get an interview. However, because you've crafted it for that particular position, and it's going to take a little bit more time, the likelihood is you're going to stand out slightly more because you've taken that time to when applying for that role. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's, it's that engagement, making sure that you're not just selling your, of course, you're selling yourself, but also you're adding value, what, are, what you can bring. Because at the end of it, the job is, let's say, from the company's perspective, that's their problem and you're coming to solve that problem. And if you can yeah. come with that mentality, I know it takes time. When I was job searching uh, during pandemic time, it took me two months. But previously, it took me nine months and I was losing my mind. I was depressed. But I also took a routine of my day. I, I, mm -hmm. I didn't spend eight hours only in front of the computer. I mm -hmm. worked out. I met with friends. I did informative, inf informative uh, interviews. So it built my relationship, which is very important these days. It, it, it really is. Um, it really is. And, and also get to that mindset when you, when you're coming out of bed and you're sitting in front of your, 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 your PC or Mac yeah. is try to try to start your day, as you say, with a, some form of routine. Yeah. Because again, I, you know, I, yeah, I, I know, I know people that have just rolled it, rolled out into bed straight onto the PC nine hours later. Um, but, and they're not, they're not feeling internally. They're not feeling like they're actually at work. And listen, this, let's be fair here. Looking for a job is very, very difficult. It's like a full-time job to find a job. It, it's a, massively a full-time job. Yeah. So you've also got to cut yourself a little bit of slack yeah. because, because of the way things are. But 
but there is there are, there are always moving forward yeah. um as we say it just may take a little bit more time and effort behind that as well Great. and with that my interview with you saint comes to an end i really enjoyed the conversation very deep and detailed tips i'm hoping my audience will enjoy it and use it in their next job search again thank you for that and again for the audience watching if you have any other tips for job seekers please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great case i'm preparing for you saint always thank you very much have a great day bye. here you too and just a final final thing what you're doing for the community for people looking for uh, new positions and jobs is incredible so amazing kudos for you my friend for carrying on this amazing work for thank the community you. Thank you very much. And hope take care, buddy. One day when this is over. All right. I'll be, I'll be coming over to Vancouver. Yeah, Don't worry. Come, off, come over here. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Take care, buddy.